In this video, we are going to look at passive range of motion assessment of the wrist joint. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome to PhysioTutors. The goal of passive range of motion assessment is to assess the osteokinematic movements of a joint, to evaluate the range of motion in degrees, and if range of motion is limited, to evaluate the end feel. You can find a collection of different end fields in this table. Puramadi et al. from 2018 conducted a trial examining the inter- and intra-radar reliability of range of motion assessment using a smartphone goniometer and found good to excellent inter- and intra-radar reliability. We are going to examine wrist flexion, wrist extension, ulnar deviation and radial deviation. For wrist flexion, the patient is in sitting position with the elbow propped up on the bench and the forearm in supination. Fixate the forearm with one hand and then maximally flex the wrist and assess the end feel. For extension, the position is the same as before and now maximally extend the wrist and assess the end feel. For ulnar and radial deviation, the patient is in sitting with the pronated forearm flat on the bench. Then again fixate the distal forearm with one hand. For ulnar deviation, grab the metacarpals from radially and bring the wrist into ulnar deviation and assess the end feel. For radial deviation, grab the metacarpals from the ulnar side and bring the wrist into radial deviation and assess the end field. All right, if you want to know how to assess the wrist arthrokinematically, check the manual therapy playlist on the left. We hope you liked this basics video, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Check the links in the video description down below for more info as well as links to our range of assessment products. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.